Hey guys, welcome back for another video for I Am Legion for Dying Light series and the Dead Island series. Not all the Dead Island series yet, I'm getting there, but my name is Jason, the creator of the mod, and I'm here with a video kind of showcasing the troubleshooting steps that you can go through uh, to fix issues on your end. Little things that I've learned over the over the years that have helped fix issues. Um, and I wanted to kind of record these, uh, and I'll, I'll log all of them below in the description so you can kind of jump to the different ones um, so that you can kind of fix things yourself uh, before submitting that bug report. Hopefully this helps uh, as I've started testing different things with the launcher and trying to break things. I've actually found several uh, little gotchas here and there that I'll have to fix, um, but they're mainly, uh, you know, issues with trying to do too many things at once and extracting files and not doing proper checks at the end um, or the checks failing for some reason. And so it's little things things like that that I'll have to do on the launcher side uh, but some of this will be for the game and some of this will be for the launcher so um, the first one that we'll go through is if you're trying to install the mod and you get an error that says you know failure to install missing files um, so say for example you know and, and to back up if you have not watched the install guide please make sure to jump over to the install guide first um, and just get a basic understanding of you know the the launcher itself and I'm over here in Documents, I am Legion uh, Launcher, and this is where the files are downloaded. So I apologize, I was backing up for a second. Uh, when we go to the data folder and into the mod data folder, this is where all the files are being downloaded for each game. So as you're switching between the different games in the interface, uh, it's downloading those files into the folder so that it can execute. So if we say like Dead Island Definitive Edition, you'll see a little download indicator on in the far left there. And it's downloading the latest versions and extracting those files in the background and then updating the UI afterwards. And so if it runs into an issue for any reason, it's probably because of one of these files. So we're kind of gonna fake this in, uh, in my files so that I can just show you what that looks like so that I can show you how to fix it. So we're going to use the use case. This is true of all the different games, but you know, we'll focus on Dead Island 2 right now or uh, Dying Light 2, I apologize. Uh, basically, we want to install one of the difficulties um, and a couple of the different modules. If you go to the summary screen, you can see the different things selected and we hit the installer and it goes through and it claims that it installed. But then if we go over here to the install folder, I still, and again, a lot of these things will change as I fix them uh, in the launcher, but I was not aware that it, it should actually catch these things and say that it can install. But the problem is, is that it's, it's doing a check on all those files when it downloaded them, and then I manually deleted them. So because of that, it's, it's not catching the bug the same way because it's, Basically, I, I deleted them, so I messed it up. But if you don't see a data to here, it's installing, you've selected a difficulty and the data to doesn't show up, there's an issue. Um, and I will improve the code to where this verifies that a data two and a data three were created. And if it doesn't, it will fall back and try to have checks on why that happened. Um, but let me show you how to manually fix this for now. So as you're installing this, it does, it doesn't hurt to know, you know, where these files are being installed. So if like for Dying Light 2, it's always going to be in the PH source folder. This is where mods are always installed for this game. For Dying Light, uh, the beast, it's also going to be in the PH underscore or FT source folder. This is where it always installs the mods. And if you go back to the older games, uh, basically it's just inside like the DW folder. So it installs in here. So if the mod is installed, it's in a data three, data four, um, back to the dead Island games, same thing. It's like a DI folder. It's going to be like a data three, data four. Um, so that's where it needs to install. And if it installs like a data four, but it doesn't install a data, a, a data three, or if it installs a data three and not a data two, it's a good indicator that something failed. Um, and so again, I'm gonna try to iron these bugs out, but just so you're aware, this is how you would fix that. So first we're gonna close the launcher and let's delete Dying Light 2 um, out of my I, uh, I am Legion launcher data mod data folder. When we do that, it's then uh, going to re-download these when we launch. So if we launch uh, the launcher, it will re-download these files. Now I did last time I tested this and and went through. I manually caught 
uh, another bug as I went through and did this on Dying Light 2 only because of the amount of files that it's extracting. So um, there are a lot of files for Dying Light 2's uh, version of the mod. And so basically what it does is it goes through here, it extracts the files, it takes a minute to extract the files because there are a lot of files. Um, and as it's extracting those files, um, I did notice that it ran into like a, a hang where uh, it doesn't properly load the events. Let me see if it does it a second time. It's something I am going to have to fix. Um, but we should be getting the different difficulties. So the difficulties are getting extracted now and they just completed. Um, and so once it does that, it should try to reinstall your previous selections. If we go over to the launch or to the installer, you can see same thing happened again. So we don't have any events here. So there's a timing thing here. Yeah, it just showed where it finished. But for whatever reason, uh, half of the files didn't show up inside here. Um, and so if we go to this launcher again and run it again, it will have all this information displayed. And I am, I'm curious why this is happening. Um, I wasn't aware of this one until I started messing around here today. Um, but you can also go to the logs folder uh, for the launcher here and it'll show you what is happening. Yeah, so reloading did fix the problem. There's not currently a reshade for Dying Light 2. Tried to make one several times, but the color balancing, I could just never get it where I wanted. Um, so basically the launcher uh, will let me know, like if you submit a bug report, it will let me know kind of what it ran into. Um, but you know, in this case, these are little bugs that it's not gonna catch necessarily because um, I don't have enough checks uh, in my system. And so I will make sure to go through uh, and add more checks for you guys so that you can, um, so that you don't have to worry about this stuff in the future. But essentially that fixes, you know, if all of these modules didn't show up. And if we run the installer now, it will take longer to run the installer because it's also manipulating more files. And if we go into our source folder, you will now see that we have a data two and a data three. Um, that file, so basically what's happening on the back end here is it's creating these pack files. Uh, it's, it's gathering all the files up and it's merging it all together for you. Um, and so when it creates the final thing, um, you should be at about a six megabyte pack file um, for the I am Legion core difficulty and around a, a megabyte depending on the different modules and events you select so pretty much all of the different pathways all of the language support all the events all the different things that you can select in here those all go into the data three while the data two is the mod difficulty um and so the mod difficulty should stay about the same but the data three will change in size based on what you installed. So the mod is now fully installed. It all should run as expected. Um, sorry for that, you know, bug, slowly working through the different bugs as we go, but that is one that I encountered that I wanted to share with you how to fix it. If you run into any issues, like you load on here and it says no projects or nothing found, probably the best thing to do is to just select the entire, close the launcher, select the entire folder of I am Legion uh, Reborn and just delete it and uh, start fresh. And so when you install this launcher or when you launch the launcher for the first time, it will go back through and replace these files. It is also trying to go through and automatically detect uh, the different games that you have on your system. As I mentioned in the install guide, it's trying to utilize uh, the uh, Steam and Epic and GOG launcher. It's trying to utilize those uh, launchers uh, to understand where your games are located. And so uh, when it goes through and it sets these up, it's, it's basically going to go ahead and set the path up and you can check, you know, that each of these paths exist. Um, and say, for example, one did not get set up correctly. So we'll say like Dying Light, this is not set up correctly. So if we go in here and search dying light and what I like to do is basically just go in here and right click 
you can go to manage and go to browse local files. When you go to browse local files, it's going to take you to the folder that this software needs. So you can just paste in that path and it will verify it and get you set up. So it'll go through and make sure that that path is correct. And show, so you should be able to now switch to Dying Light 1 inside the launcher and it'll download those files. Um, and so just a just a common one, you know, that uh, the paths were not set correctly, um, but that will get everything set up correctly. Uh, when you hit that play button, if it says like no license is found, that's another one that players ran into. Essentially, uh, that could be due to the platform that you have set. So if you bought the game on Epic Games Store, uh, but you've got this set to Steam by default, uh, when you try to launch through Steam, it's going to say, you know, no license found. It's going to give you that error. Um, but it should actually be set up correctly. Uh, you just have to change it to Epic Games Store uh, instead. When you launch it through the Epic Games Store, uh, it will basically first try to launch it through the actual epic games uh if it's unable to launch it through epic games uh it is also supposed to try to just launch straight from the exe let's see if it is gonna launch i don't even think i have it installed on here So it is still just launching. I had this one working in the code, but it looks like this one is now just opening the Epic Games Store again. So uh, what it's supposed to do, and actually it's probably because I have the path set towards a Steam file. Um, if I install this on my folders here where go in here games yeah I don't have it installed but if I if I had this one installed under Epic Games it should launch. The reason it's not launching the back, the fallback exe is because it's pointed to the Steam's uh, folder. And so it doesn't know where that exe is. And so I think that should work um, if you have it set to the proper folder. Um, another common one is, is that a update was released for the game. The game is crashing or having some sort of issue. Um, and this is like a go-to Pretty much always, anytime an update comes out for these games, I highly recommend uh, going and running file verification on the game itself. Um, this has been, I've been seeing this for several years now uh, with these games. An update comes out for whatever reason, it seems like Steam is getting uh, hung on something or there's a bad update or something from, uh, especially on the Steam side where people are getting crashes or issues that are just completely unexplainable. Uh, they have some, some issue in the game that they, they have no idea why they're getting it, but they are getting it. Um, I would recommend just running file verification on that game first. Once the file verification has finished, uh, it's basically going to restore all of the original files. Um, and on some of the games, uh, you don't have to run... Uh, the installer again uh, necessarily, but uh, I always recommend just run the installer again after that point. The installer has several things that it does to make sure the game is clean and ready to go. Um, and so I recommend, you know, making sure that that is, uh, that that is now uh, reinstalled so that it uses the new verified version of the files rather than the previous files. Um, Another common issue that people have run into, especially with Dying Light 2 lately, is, let me make sure I can still launch it. Go ahead and say transform to the screen here. So this is a common one for, and I'm just throwing this in here as a common uh, issue that players are running into right now. Currently, this is probably not going to be a thing in the next update, but it may be again in the one after that. We'll see. Um, basically, as we go, um, they release new versions of DirectX 12 uh, on these different games. And basically, that doesn't always go well. 
Um, I actually ran into an issue last time where I could not switch off of it. Did they? Okay, never mind. So when you're on the uh, the the game here, you can see the is DirectX 12 or DirectX 11. Um, pretty much every other main update for this game has had some major issue with DirectX 12. Um, even running a 4090, um, I've run into issues where I'm getting like 40, 50 frames on the game. Uh, switching DirectX 11 usually fixes the issue. Um, and you can go up to using DirectX 12. It's just even even going through and setting the different ray tracing effects here. You have to, you know, some of them will cause the whole game to just run really poorly. And so you do, if you're going to use any of the ray tracing or anything like that, you also have to just basically sit here and mess with each one of these values until you find the right balancing. Um, I just wanted to mention that as a side note, because that was one of the more recent things uh, that players uh, mentioned as they were having a crash. They didn't understand why. I don't understand why either. Uh, turned out to just be DirectX 12. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cap off uh, the video here outside of um, other basic things like the the launcher now knows where your save games are. So you don't have to worry about save game locations. It now knows where your logs are. If you're curious where your logs are, you can always go in here to the documents folder um, and they have each one of these is it's always been under the out logs folder um, and so this is where the files are dumped uh, for any crashes i will mention that um, they've done this a couple of times but the latest version of uh, of the beast does not have crash logs um, for actual problems uh, so it does create a crash log it's just you can go add you know syntax errors or different things to the game and it won't tell you about them so Either, either they've turned off that feature in the engine uh, or they're just hiding it. I don't, I don't know which, but in Dying Light 2, Dying Light 1, uh, you can get basic information about the bugs that are inside of the file. And so um, something else to just look at um, if you're curious about what's happening. When you do the bug report um, using the launcher, it will provide those logs to me um, if you select for example the the game here versus the launcher it will give me those log files at least the last couple of ones and so uh, I can try to help go through what is happening on your side but you know please always just start with the bug report um, so that I have as much information as possible uh, before diving in all right guys I hope this helped um, if you have any questions you know feel free to leave them on the discord or you can leave them on Nexus, you can leave them on uh, YouTube, but I'm probably going to see them uh, a lot less frequently than anything left on Discord. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed and happy gaming.